But it ain't going to pop up, so. We here, though, man. What's good, dog? How you feeling, bro? Man, I'm cool. Fine. Moose is in the motherfucking building. Out the mud. Yeah, really. What's good, know how dog? Coming, man. Yo, first and foremost, um, I just want to uh, honestly give you your roses and your respect, bro. Appreciate it. Um, and I want to tell you this, like, man to man, look in your eye and say this, because, you know, you've been around for, you've been doing this shit for a minute, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, like, you was, um, I know this is going to sound weird. But niggas that get it is going to get it. And I just want to be real with you. I was, you were one of, like, how can I say this? I was a fan of yours before everybody else. Like, I thought, like, I really, like, when niggas, when, when niggas started getting hip to Baltimore music and shit like that, like, I right. really fuck, I'm like, nah, I fuck with Moose. Right. I ain't just saying this because, like, you hear nah, it. I, I mean know. this shit. Real and, shit. um, you know, I just wanted to, like I told myself, I just wanted to make make sure you know that if I if I had some roses, I don't know if you watch Drink Champ, they they get niggas their their flowers in a yeah. in a in a can in yeah, a, in a vase shit. and shit. Right. I would give you roses in a vase, bro, for real. Right. Um, yo, you've done so much for the city, bro. You, I mean, your story is fucking crazy, bro. I mean, you've been out the mud wow. since you was like eleven, for real. You know what? Um, since I came out the womb, I was out the mud. How you feel, man? I feel great though. I feel you know. I feel great to still be here, you feel me, and tell my story. Mm. Ain't nobody got to tell my story for me. Facts. You feel me? Damn, bro, where do we start, bro? Can we, um, I have a, a way of, like, making this shit extra deep <laughs> for no reason, but this is, is uh, that's what comes from the real conversation. Right. Um, damn, bro, I don't even know. I want to talk to you about, um, coming up. Do you feel like you was forced in the streets? Forced? Yeah. No. Nah. I was like, my whole family, like, I was, you know, like everybody in the streets. My father, while well, he was, you know, he, my father, he'd be cool now, working and all that. But my father, my big cousins, my aunts and them, like everybody was like in the streets. That's just what it was. You was your family me? like, were they like all young or? Um, yeah, 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 they young. Yeah, but like my father, he probably was like, I remember my father, he was like, you know, in his like 20s, still in his 20s and shit. So it was like, that was like popping back then with money. So, you know, like, yeah, I'm like, all oh, my family in the streets. So I mean, well, I come from the streets, but you know. So, because you, you said something earlier before we started that I, I, I admire and I think it's dope as fuck. You like, you try to keep your young niggas around you so they can stay out of trouble. Real talk. Um, where was, who was that for you? Like, where was that at? Do you think that's what made you get in the streets because you ain't had that? Yeah, I didn't. I ain't really, I ain't really had nobody that wasn't getting in no trouble. Like, you couldn't really, like, you ain't had, like, no, I mean, shout out to Uncle T, though. Uncle yeah. T. Yeah. Yeah. The re- and the reason, the reason why I say that, because sure. since I was, like, nine years old, like, Uncle T had a program. Mm. And I'm 28 now. Right. So, that's since I was, like, nine, like, nine, 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 so that's since I was like nine, like he didn't try to grab us because he come from our area. Mm. So he didn't try to grab us. His son, my right hand man. So he right. been doing this shit. Yeah, he been doing it. And like a lot of people don't know that, you know, people be saying, man, people just don't know. He been doing that for years and it's crazy that I got to get him his flowers because he tried with us. And not saying like we turned out how they was trying to, you know, like get us, but they tried. Like they been trying and he's still doing it to this day. He ain't give up. And that's part of like a motivation for me. I'm still doing me. For like sure. I done seen uh, motherfuckers like that, that putting they all into something. Once they on it, they on it. And it's just like that shit, like motivation. So uh, shout out to Uncle T, though. You know, I was talking to Izzy, right? And he was saying, um, I was like, bro, like he said that his man had him in the streets or whatever, but it was because that's what he wanted to be. And he was like, his man basically took him under the wing, like, man, I don't want you out here, but if you're going to be out here, I'd rather you be with me so you'd be safe. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And it seemed like, kind of, well, do you. Was it, it, it was It was just you was influenced by it? Did you ever try to get so out of it? It was like, like, you just ain't know nothing else. I, like, I mean, I used to like play, I used to play ball, I used to hoop for real, like for my schools and shit. Uncle T and them, they had like little programs like that. Like we used to hoop for Uncle T and them, they had tickets to like Six Flags and shit. Like, hey, I have a weekend. Hey, I have a, you know, once in a blue moon, they had take it somewhere though. Like the hood though, not just, yeah, just the not little just, niggas. Yeah. It, was, it was niggas from around my way that was a little older, like, 
not even in school no more that was like jumping on them buses and stuff with us. So like that was the closest we had not to really like being in the streets. Like our environment is just like that's all yeah. this all going on around us. Like, you feel me? You either gonna go to school and probably like, you know, make it out doing something football or basketball, but even in the mix of that, you, you were around shit. that yeah, shit. Like exactly. you were around that. We born in this, like, you feel me? And so I, it was like that shit be hard for a nigga. Nah, you're right, bro, because it's crazy because I, I I was born, I um I was born at John's Hopkins, I was raised in McCullough Homes. But I had a lot of niggas kind of like you. Like, the niggas that was in the streets, they was telling me, go play ball and shit. You know what I mean? They wasn't, like, taking me under that wing. They was like, yo, go play ball. Don't do this shit. You know what I'm saying? This ain't for you. And I feel like a lot of niggas nowadays, when they hear this ain't for you, they get, they they so, not intimidated, like, they feel like it's disrespect. Like, this ain't for you. Like, nah, it's not. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Like... (laughs) Like I like I wish it wasn't for me. <laughs> like you want to swap it out? <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, I feel you. Damn, bro. That's how it is though. Like that. This era like that though. This shit fucked up. Damn. It was like I don't know. That's why I say I be trying to show my little niggas like it's something out of life. You feel me? Take them to shows with me. Like some of them like fifteen. They can't even get in the club, but they with man. Y'all want to go to the club? And like hell yeah. You know I got enough respect for the bouncers. Let them know ain't not gonna go around the night and they. I let them have fun and shit, studios, and so they can see something. I ain't taking them on no block. You feel me? Nah, I'm not doing it. Yo, you know what's crazy, man? Why I fell in love with doing this, this interview shit, bro? Because, like, you know, we do the freestyles and shit, and I feel like a lot of niggas don't see this side of Moose. You get what I'm saying? Like, they see out the mud, the raps and shit, and, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, just basically like the the street moose, but down here like bro, like I'm a real nigga. Like I, I'm trying to do something for my family. I'm oh, I want my young shit. niggas to I'm make it to make out. It right. I'm trying to make it out, and I'm trying to show my little niggas how to make it out. Cause it's like at the end of the day, like I be telling my little niggas like I can look out for y'all. You feel me? I can get me a match in the day or tomorrow. Like it can be room for you, but it's not room. It's not enough room for you and your family. Mm. You feel me? So I'm a, my job is to show y'all how to, when y'all walk in my mansion, if y'all ain't got one yet, that should motivate you to get your, to get your own. I ain't saying you can't stay at my shit, but yeah. at the while, it should hit you like, damn, what about my mother and my cousin and them shit? Damn, they back home. Mm. So you got to use that as motivation. I ain't saying, like, I'm going to put you out right now, and then I might want my space, but I'm trying to motivate my niggas to, to like, go get it. Like, help me out. See what you can do to to help me and benefit you at the same time. Yeah. Feel no, me? So right. everybody eating, because, like, I can give you 50000 Like, yeah, that's a homeboy looking out for a homeboy, but at the end of the day, that 50000 ain't really nothing. Yeah, what you ready go get gone? fresh. You gonna do that? Your people's going, cause yeah, when I get my niggas fifty thousand and shit, shit, yeah, I'm I'm showing that shit too on camera. Why not? Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm gonna show you how. I, yeah, it's loyalty. Drop my man fifty. Mm. But guess what? Your people's gonna see me drop that fifty to you on Instagram, and they call me. Yeah, boy, <laughs> yo, you bad, do right. Yeah, I seen him <laughs> drop that fifty for you, so that's gonna be about ten thousand mm, gone. Facts. You ain't gonna tell them no. So it's like a nigga gonna give you shit, but a nigga ain't gonna give you shit. That ain't really enough. You feel yeah. me? Yo, question, bro. What um, what was the, the the biggest misconception coming from the hood that you learned? Like for me, when I was coming out, the I had to learn how to interpret not being a bitch. Like you know, when we was coming up, it was always never let nobody be a never let nobody bitch you. Never be a bitch. And right. then I understood that like my definition of not being a bitch from the hood was fucked up. You know right. what I'm saying? Like not being a bitch wasn't. If a nigga look at me wrong, punch him. If a nigga, right. you know what I'm saying? It was really like right. being some real man shit, take care of your family. What, what you think was the mis, the biggest misconception for you coming from the hood that you that it, the hood taught you that was all fucked up? Um, one like uh, just the the friend, the friends, and like growing up thinking you need friends when your mm. people grow you up and thinking that you need friends and shit. Cause that's why. A lot of niggas get caught up in the love shit Damn. and that you get what I'm saying, like growing up, it's it's how our people so it's how your peoples raise you. And it's all like what you get from it, you gonna learn your own little shit, but it's like from the hood, it's like you be it be so many niggas used to be on the block, niggas probably used to be like twenty, thirty deep and you done got so comfortable with thinking that you you used to having niggas around you. So then when it's like everybody gone, you Lost like a bitch. So yeah. I feel as though, like, the hood ain't really, instead of niggas saying, like, not be a bitch, niggas supposed to say, just be a man at all times, Talk yo. 
So it ain't about not being a bitch. That's what they should have put out there, yo. Just be a man at all times. Mm, mm, mm. You feel me? And that come with walking away from. That's come with walking away from shit. Mm, so it mm, really mm. ain't like you being. You ain't being no bitch. I just know I got to walk away from this. So I think that's the. Uh, that's what I got from it. Niggas put that out there wrong for real. But that's all what you get from it. Nah, that's a fact. That's crazy, bro. Like it's that's- so much shit that that that. That people that made up like before us that really don't really make no sense when you get older. And it's like, damn, yo, why am I older? People let me fall for this shit all this whole time. Facts. Like, you learn that shit. Like, that's what I said, bro. It's, it's so much shit that I, I had to learn. I'm like, bro, this ain't right. Like, this ain't right. Bro, you uh, you talked about um you giving your man some money and then people's hitting you. You've been in, and bro, you've been up for, not up. I don't want to say up as like money wise. I don't want nobody counting your pockets, but you've been blessed, bro. In a, in, a, in, a, in a few positions, how was it for you when you when you get that limelight or niggas think you you made it out? How was how was it uh, telling your family no, ha- having to give your family money? Did you have to learn how to say like, no? How the I fuck was that? Lie. I still don't really know how to say no, Damn. Tom. For real, like I mean, it's just like I just try to even not. I, I ain't going to show it because I'm not even mm-hmm. ready. I'm I'm not ready to help you yet. So it's like it's better if you don't show it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But like I said, how I see it, I show my shit like when I'm busting my niggas down because it's like that's just, you still painting the picture, yo, this how you treat your homeboy when he done did a lot of time for the for the hood or for the, you know, if a nigga that, you know how they say like the rules fucked up, but you had some niggas that really played by them rules and took L's already. Yeah, yeah. So you got to do right for them when they come home. They, yeah. they, they, they was going by the game how it go. Mm. So it's like you got to show that shit, but it's like you going to have motherfuckers that's going to be hitting you. Like, man, I seen what moves just gave you, yo. Like, come on, yo, do right. Let me hold something, yo, or whatever, but. Yeah, that shit like that. It's just best is just not to show it if you ain't ready to really break bread. You feel me? I ain't even ready to put it to you like I already got it for you not to even hit me like that. I ain't even putting it in your face like I got it to look out for you yet. So I ain't even gonna put myself in that situation for real. Nah, facts. Yo, yeah, um, you lost what your grandmoms? Yeah, I lost both my grandmothers the same year when I was eleven. Both of them. I just lost one from cancer. My mother, mother. And I lost my father, mother. Like a robbery, like to uh, you know, like Dauphins killed my grandmother. Damn, at 05. But you said, um, back back then, your whole family was in the street, so you probably was used to seeing so much violence, like, especially coming. Yeah, from I used Boston. to go to my like, I like my grandmother got killed on the block where I'm from. Like, it's just a small ass block, you feel me? So it's like, hell yeah, like we was there every day. You feel me? Just how God moved people. Like that was like a school day. Like I go to my grandmother's house every day before school, mm-hmm. trying to get her to. Trying to talk and letting me stay home. Every day I've been around there, you feel me? It was just that day. That shit just crazy. Bro, ain't it crazy how, like, and I don't, I get on these interviews and I talk to niggas from my city like this. I don't really talk to everybody else because, like, it's a different appreciation we got for our city. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we understand that it's real. Right. Like that shit, like everything you see on the wire, that shit real plus that more. That shit more, yeah. Plus it's more. Bigger, it's bigger. You know what I'm saying? But it's like it's st- the city still got a hold on us, and it's like it all at its. It's almost like we des- desensitized. Like you right. lost your your grandparents at eleven. You probably not. You would probably need. That's when I really. That that's when I really like like how you said like um like what was like something like motivating for me is like not be in the streets for real. Like by that happening to me so early, it was like. That attitude for real, like the beast, they just come out you. Some stuff just bring the beast out you. And it's like, when that happened, I'm like, damn, yo, like, fuck life, yo. Like, fuck everything. I'm 11 just saying, fuck everything. I don't care about life. I don't care about nothing. Like, somebody killed my grandmother. I'm just ready to die every day out here. I want to go with my grandmother. Like, a young nigga, that's just how I, like, fuck it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just certain shit. Me living how I wanted to, you know, doing me and going in and out that juvenile system, getting in that cell for real. You know, you think uh, it's always something that's going to put you like you can't. I can't give up, though. You know, I can't crash out. So that's what always kept me going. Like my grandma would not want me to crash out and say fuck life like that. But, you know, you just got some shit in you that just can't, you know, you just can't get it out. You like I got hurt too early. So it's like I just said fuck that shit like Anything can really happen like that. Somebody will kill my grandmother, man. Like, Yo, what Moose, the do you, fuck? Um, do you, uh, just as men, bro. Um, That's I, why I don't yeah. even, I don't even, like, I don't fucking, like, praise, like, certain shit that go on out here. I know, like, my music 
how it is and all that. But I don't praise like that type of like foul ass shit. You know what I mean? Like I'm not. I ain't no nigga that's trying to say like I want violence going on. Like I come from that. I can get violent. I don't want it going on. But it's like certain shit that happened. Like it is what it is. We can get it in whenever. Like I'm with all that. But it's like. I don't want that going on. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want that. And as far as what I've been through, I can be selfish and just want all this. You know what I mean? I don't want that. I don't want nobody to go through the same thing I went through. You feel me? I'm not, I, like, I grew up, so it's like my music, how it is, but I ain't into that foul shit. These niggas out here killing females and kids and that that shit just, like, anybody this shit just general, out of hand. Yeah, I'm just saying, like anybody in general, I mean, yeah, street, anybody street in general, code, but it's it just more shit. Like it usually it be like street code. Is usually it be like you know a nigga certain when a nigga get killed, it be like damn yo. You, certain nine times ten, you already know what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like now you can't even keep up with shit. You know a nigga ain't do nothing and you kill him. So that's what I'm saying. I ain't, I ain't like excluding no, no men, but it's just like now it's just like way out of hand. Mm. Like that shit crazy, and it's like I get the blame for a lot of this shit. Why you and think that? Cause of my music, you feel me? Cause of my music, that's it. But your music is really just a, a reflection of of what you've been through. It's cause of my music and like the influence, the influence. That shit real. Does it ever bother you at times? It's like, man, I know I make this type of music, but I don't really want this to happen in the streets. Does that ever? Did you ever second guess it any at any time? Yeah, that's why I be trying. Like, no, I didn't ever like address it. But that's why I be trying, like, deliver deliver like stuff different now, you know, in the best way for real. Like, I don't want y'all to do what I did. I'm just telling y'all what I did. You shouldn't want to go through that. When I'm telling y'all, I was head down, hurt and crying for weeks straight. I done lost my granny, and like, I'm not proud of that shit going down the juvenile system, and like, I'm not proud of that shit. I don't regret nothing I went through though, but. I'm not proud of it. I ain't rapping that because like, I don't want you to be the little nigga like, yeah, man, I'm great to do something to go down the baby book. And it's like, no, I'm telling you shit was real. You don't want to go through that. You feel me? Yeah, no, I You don't want to go through that. I ain't telling you. I don't want y'all to listen to my raps and be like, yo, I want to try that. You feel me? No, like, be like, hell no, yo, damn, that's fucked up. With Like, I ain't trying to go through what, what dummy and them went through. Or you feel me? That ain't for y'all. Like, And I'm talking to the to the uh the future, you feel me? The kids, like they ain't for y'all to to look at it like that. I ain't painting that picture for y'all to try what I did. You feel me? I'm painting the picture so y'all don't want to do that shit. You feel nah, me? Facts. Yo, question: You been um through so much shit, you losing your 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 granny, your grannies, both of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And you said like at a young age that shit hurt. But when the last time like being in the position that you in right now? When the last time you like sat down and thought about it and like it really brought tears to your eyes? About my grandmother? When about I just, everything, you losing I mean, friends. All when I just stuff. was making my last tape, I just dropped. It's called My Life Story. When I was like doing that, that whole tape, I was just like in my feelings for real. Like when you listen to it, you can really tell. But like I was in the studio, I dropped I dropped some tears for real, on, you know, to myself. You feel me? At one time I was listening to a, like a certain song on there, that shit brought tears in my eyes. I'm like, damn, yo, like, fuck. Like, that shit really, like, now, like, that shit hitting me, like, how Tupac music used to hit me on, so all boosy shit. You get what I'm saying? Boosie. Oh, my God, we're going to talk about that shit. <laughs> Man, like, my shit hitting me like that now. Damn. Like, you feel me? And it's like, yeah, that's when I that's when I shed some tears. I got a lot of stuff on there about my grandmothers and shit. I remember People when I um, lost when uh, Boosie dropped the song "Granny, Granny." Right, Granny, Granny. Right. Why like you had to take Big Mama away? Right. Mama, I'm going right. crazy. Right. I'm all fucked up. Nah, yeah, it's, it's um. So like that's why I them type of niggas got me through. Like they got me through them song them songs right there shit like that. Nah, for sure. And do you feel like um? Just being in the position you in, like, a lot of niggas looking up to you. You probably feeding a lot of niggas. Do you feel like it's hard to, like, sometimes show your emotion and show that you human as well? Like, like show them your tears. You got to cry on your own. You really can't tell them what's going on. Oh, no, I let a motherfucker know what's up. I don't be with all that. I ain't going to keep hurting myself. Mm. You feel me? So I'm going to let a motherfucker know what's up before I keep hurting myself. I ain't with all that. Mm. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. Yo, that's what's up. Um, we talking. Um, fuck who it is. How did bro transition into the into the more into the music, right? 
I feel like everybody agree with me, or most people. When I think of Moose, bro, the next thing I think about is Boosie. Bro, how the fuck, bro? If that wasn't God, bro, like, shit, though, yo, yo, t- when, when Boosie called, how did that even happen, bro? Like, how did he get in contact with you? How you get signed? Like, that's Man, crazy. This shit really like a, it's really like a long story, bro. But if you want me to talk to me, nigga, hey. know, it's Boosie. Like, bro, that's so, Baltimore Godfather. So, so, like, you already had motherfuckers, you know, that know where I come from, knowing I was getting in trouble and living what I'm, you know, living what I'm spitting and shit. Just start saying like, man, this nigga the Baltimore Boosie, man. I swear to you, like, people just start saying this shit, right? And I'm thinking like, damn, Boo and Boosie and Pop. I got a lot of rappers I uh, fuck with like that come out, you know, they errors and shit. But like Boosie and Pop was like my top ones like for a motherfucker telling that pain and that story for us getting me through who I listened to. So it was like when people start like comparing me to Boo, that shit meant a lot, man. I had Hot Boy too. From the Hot Boys, yeah, yeah, big yeah, yeah. time, Turk, right? Yeah. Hot Boy Turk, I did something with him like a couple years ago, and we ain't, we ain't put this shit out yet, but I did something with Hot Boy Turk, and he did his little uh, research on me, and he hit me. He like, man, he like, man, you like the Baltimore Tupac. <laughs> I'm like, yo, say the Baltimore Tupac. Motherfuckers been calling me the Baltimore Boosie. Yeah. And he don't know this, though. Like, he ain't know, you know. And, like, when he sat down, I'm like, this nigga said the Baltimore Tupac. And it went from Boosie to, I'm like, this shit. Like, all that shit. You're like this. I'm like, man, this Turk, man, from the Hot Boys. Like, you feel me? These niggas could pan me to certain people. Like, all that shit, like, mean a lot. You feel me? Like, that shit mean a lot. So, I ran into Boo though. It was this nigga. It's it's this nigga uh that's in like from my hood and shit. Like he ain't from my block, but he from my hood. You know, like he he a motherfucker that grew up around there. He just uh, like a, he is type nigga that just be bopping. Like you'll catch your walking anywhere and shit, right? But yeah. whenever he come through our shit, he stopped around there. Like we know him since we was a kid and shit. So uh. He came bopping through and shit one day, and he stopped hollering at me like, yeah, man. He's like, man, you know I be hollering that uh, donkey and shit on Facebook, this Boosie Big Cousin yeah, and shit, yeah. right? I'm like, hell no, you don't be hollering at no donkey. He's like, I swear to God, bro, I be hollering that donk on Facebook. I'm like, you sure that's donkey? <laughs> He's like, yeah, Moose, I swear to God, that's donkey, man. Like, I been hollering at him. I'm like, man, what's his number then, man? He like, with the phone out and shit. He had a little flip phone, right? With the flip phone now, he going through that shit. I'm just, we all looking at this nigga. I'm like, man, I know this nigga ain't bluffing. bluffing. <laughs> he with the phone now and shit. He like, he ain't in this phone. I'm going to go get the, <laughs> oh, I'm ready go get the other. Yeah, so you already know how we man. Go ahead, Jetty, man. You bullshit. That's his name, too, my man, Jetty, man. Shout out to Jetty, bro. But he, he like, I swear to God, y'all, I'm going to go get that bitch right now. And I'm going to uh, walk back through. So I'm like, all right, back, yo. So we ran that bitch cool, and we really, like, Slipped out of mind. He probably slid back through that bitch like a good 30, 45 minutes. He coming back down the street like, hey, I got the number right here. Like, All right, I'm putting the number in the phone. He like, this he like, this is manager though, but I think that's his girl. Mm. So I'm like, All right, now I'm thinking now, he already had somebody playing on the phone. He bullshitting even more. Right. Because this like, man, this shit was crazy. I'm like, all right, man, I'm gonna call the phone. Waited, got up, got up the road and shit to my people's house. We all in there. I'm like, yo, I'm ready to call the number. Calls the number and shit. And Boosie was locked up at the time, though. Boosie Damn. was still locked up. Call the number and shit. But, like, we fuck with Boo whole fam. Like, just growing up, we know who all yeah, our Yeah, because he was all on the, on the DVDs Before we even all met that. him, right? Yeah. Right, so, you know, we fucking with Donk, whoever. Hell whole yeah, fam. everybody. So, you know, we, we, we kind of Donk as much as, that, like, that's Boo. That's Boosie, yeah. Right? Call a number and shit and a female answer and shit. And she like, hello, I'm like, yeah, can I holler at Don't? She's like, oh. She's like, it don't work like that, baby. Something, 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 something. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, all right, no, I ain't like that. But I'm just trying to make sure, you know, like everything official. I'm trying to do something with them and shit. Like my name, uh, she like, oh, all right, but I just can't just put them on the phone. I'm like, all right, baby, look, before you even think like I'm a groupie type nigga or anything, my name, Young Moose, I'm from Baltimore. Just go ahead, check me out. You can go ahead, look me up and shit. Now you check me out, give me a call back, please. She like, all right, I'll do that. I'm going to do that right now. All right, bet. Hung up with her. We was cooling, like, let me say good Lord, 10, 10 minutes. She, oh, yeah, like, you hot. Like, you, oh, <laughs> and this was 2014. This is this was two thousand fourteen. Around the yeah, time yeah. I had dumb dumb. Yeah, this shit going crazy. Around the time I said, like around the time I dropped dumb dumb. So it's probably going crazy. Yeah, that was around that time, two thousand fourteen. So uh, yeah, so she like, I'm ready to put dump on the phone right now. I'm ready to add them on the line. 
She wound up adding, yo. She wound up adding don't, man. I hear his voice. I'm like, yeah, that's don't. I said, hey, I'm like, man, what's happening? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, that's don't. Like, man, what's up, man? I'm trying to get with you. He's like, man, my people, they fucking with you. Like, they say, like, you really, you really, yeah. So I'm great, man. What we doing? Like, man, fat, I'm great. Give you my number. Wayne Gray be doing all this, yeah. the three way and all this. And we locked in. And when we locked in, we did the song and shit. We did the song. They, they fucking with this shit. So he like, man, we like, man, when we coming down to shoot the video, I'm like, whenever y'all ready, just come down. We going to be, you feel me? This was going on. He like, all right. He had a, uh, he wound up coming. It probably was like two weeks. They shot down and shit. He had another video with somebody from the city, but they, they, they was probably like out the county and shit or whatever. But he like, man, where you at, man? I'm about to be getting from right here. I'm like, man, I'm down like in my session. I'm in the city. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I, sent him, I sent him the, you know, the address and shit. Man, I'm talking about, I had the hood out, bro. Yeah. Like when I say the hood out, east or west, the the song called uh the uh Damn, yo, what song man don't did, yo? Damn. Let me see, let's see what it is. Is it on iTunes? No, it's it on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, it's on A. Hey, no, it ain't no iTunes, it's on YouTube. Let shit, me see. Though. Uh let me see. Damn, they hating. What's the reason? What's man, the reason? Yeah, it's called What's the Reason, man. I'm talking about I had the whole hood out. Like so many people came out for that motherfucker, like by the time he came down there, I already told all my little people, we got to make sure it don't good. You know, we got to make sure everything good and shit. And when he pulled up, he just like, all them niggas looking out the car. Like, there's so many people out there. He's like, this how you coming, little nigga? I'm yeah. like, hell yeah. He's like, man, I'm ready to change my clothes in the car. I'm like, say no more. We right here waiting. And he changed. He hopped out. He just couldn't stop smiling. Like, when he met me, it was like, I don't, like, we just clicked like that. Like, them niggas just was, like, fucking with me. Like, this little nigga, the truth. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about, I'm catching them niggas, like, I'm catching them niggas talking about me, like, man, we got to get that nigga, mind me a bull, man. We got to get that nigga with bull. Like, I'm just, like, damn, I, you know, I'm overhand shit. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, they, fucking with it. they fucking with me, fucking with us, fucking yeah. with the whole, you know, yeah. the whole movement for real. And it was, like, that shit was, like, real. I'm thinking, like, damn, shit probably great. Pop. Like man, that nigga boo touch, man. I'm getting man, I'm getting him with boo. Like I'm man, he started telling me, like, man, I got you. It's like it wasn't even about him no more. That's how oh, he man. started carrying it with me. It wasn't even about him no more. Like I'm a I'ma keep my word for you. I'm gonna get you, man, I'm gonna get you with boo. And he told me, I ain't going I ain't telling boo about you over no phone. Mm. You no, know, like, that's my little cousin. I'm gonna I'm gonna really holler at him. I'm gonna look him in his eyes. I gotta look him in his eyes and tell him about you, Moose. Like, that's what's up, don't. And that shit just happened for me. It ain't happening like over day. Yeah, you yeah. know, I, shit going on. I had to like come out the smoke. Like I just had to like so much shit I had to go through here. Like mm. with the police and it's like they hearing about the news and the shit I got coming up and they was not with it. And it's like I was going through so much with the hating and I'm at war with hating niggas and police. Like I can't win. Nah, facts. So it was like I was like going through shit. Like I'm like, damn, every time something good or something bad. Mm. Like I'm where he had something good happening and it's just like shit was just coming and it's like I don't know how I was like God I ain't gonna say I don't know how God man nah facts Damn, then you linked up with Boosie bro when that yeah, shit bro. happened bro. so they try to stop that they hear oh Moose got a show with Boosie coming up down the arena lock my mother up this nigga lock my mother up cause she looked like me bro Niggas this good. guy be young that gotta be young Moose mother put the cuffs on her lock my mother up bro Damn. Had my mother and that bitch sitting. My mother called me home from the jail. Like he, this that police said he put his life on. It, he ain't gonna make it to that show, and you bad make it to it. Facts. Damn. That's what your mother said. Oh, yeah. Man. Damn, bro. That's that give me chill. That's fire, bro. Oh, like for real. They ain't talk. They ain't. They ain't giving y'all anything that's really like hitting. Like this shit bigger than them episodes and you know the wire and all that shit, man. They high and man, this shit crazy. What happened? Man. Like, uh, talk to me. This I remember, cause I remember, I remember like, the whole did, situation like, where you you made a diss song bro, and all that shit. Like, bro, like what? I've been putting them peoples out there. Like, that shit crazy. Like they did hella shit. Like, lock my mother up for looking like me. I'm talking about man. My mother got them big eyes. You hear I me? Mean? He's looking at. Like, I know that young moose mother. Locked her up. Locked her up for everything. Like she was in a house raid. My mother pulled up. I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. Just pulling up in the car. Saying, is y'all done? Can I get a warrant? My mother don't even live there. Don't got nothing to do with that house. You just, you fucking with our family. She pulled up and he, I had that show coming up. He was just on bullshit. Whatever affiliated with Moose, lock him up. 
coming through the coming through down the hill, ripping my posters off the off the walls, off the poles, telling the little kids, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. He's a bad influence. Don't listen to that nigga. A hating ass nigga. You serious? Like he woke up every day thinking about me. What the fuck? Every day. What happened? Did y'all have like an altercation? My father probably knocked that nigga out in school or something. Cause I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I swear. So this. No, like, but you know, like they. I mean, if you ain't with them, you're against them. You know how I go anyway. So like, right. I, I got that type of attitude. Don't talk to me. I, I'm, I'm spitting at you and all that. Cause you spitting on me when you talking. Mm. Bitch, I'm spitting back. So it's like I gotta zap both feathers when I gotta deal with the police just cause of what I've been through. Mm. Don't talk to me. So it's like when they when they see you a rebel and you ain't in compliance, they ain't they gonna they coming for you, mm. especially when you know the law a little bit. I don't even want you to know the law a little bit. He books you for some shit too, right? Or yeah, he th- locked me up for for the same shit he locked my mother up for nothing. Damn. Yeah. Well, how was that when he locked you up? Was he um? Because we know police brutality down here is crazy. Was he uh? Did he, did he hit you and shit like that, or it was just uh, a rough? It was time they roughed me up like. Like slid they little punches and elbows and knees in. But it's like, man. Did they have this a- shit's so crazy, bro. Like, man, it's to the point like I done fool the police, bro. Like one on one, bro. Like he even came back when he got off work type shit. Like the fuck. This how much they really like, you heard me? Damn, son. This shit go deep for real, but you know niggas like like street niggas, so like nigga ain't never really like Ever really put that part like you know like out there out there like that? But yo, how do you how how is that? I, that's so that's a question. So, bro, first of all, I just want to apologize ahead of time. Excuse my ignorance, bro. But I was thinking about that. I wanted to ask you that. Being a street nigga, right? But being done wrong by the cops and having a like, cause you 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 sued him, right? Say it again. You, right. you sued him, right? Again, uh, yo, can you uh, answer the phone for uh his, his cameraman? So, you uh, you sued them and they they doing you dirty, but it's like you gotta tell the enforcement that they doing you dirty, right? Not the enforcement. Well, I mean, if they got they got the uh, for real for real. You get a lawyer, okay? That's who you let know you getting done dirty. That's who gonna really take care of anything. But okay, but they you got like you know they had like a turn affairs and but they wasn't doing nothing. Like and this this G shit, they wasn't doing nothing. We, been putting like complaints on the eternal affair. This why this what took niggas so long to do it because it's like we going to talk on the police and shit. But it's like eternal affairs ain't no polices mm. and shit like that. They motherfuckers who to get polices off y'all ass. So it's like all right, we understood that and start putting in little complaints and shit like that. But it's like that shit don't that shit don't work for real. Lawyer you're going to help you out. So let me ask you this though. That's why I say excuse my ignorance. Um, but I'm just curious, right? So like, if we if we in the streets, right? And we, if I do something, like, you can't put a complaint in on me. Like, because if somebody do, it's called snitching, right? right? But if the police if the police do something, we put a complaint on that. Well, how, like, how do you differentiate the two, honestly? It's like, when you do something, I mean, see, it's like, I get what you're saying, but it's like, all right, so you got to come around to the, to, the, to the checkpoint. So when the police do something to you, like I said, you go deal with a lawyer and internal affairs people, not the law. Okay. When people be doing shit to each other, niggas will be telling and all that shit. These niggas going to polices and detectives. <laughs> it's a, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's I had a, to ask the question, bro. We're going so, right so that's how I'm. That's the best way I can really put it. Like you feel me? I can, that's that's the best way I can put it. So it's and not it, like it's not right never, if we if we telling on the police. It ain't right. It ain't snitching. I ain't saying you telling on the police because it's like you ain't telling the police. Hmm. When you get when the, when niggas will be telling, you got to go to a. Uh, a law enforcer, whatever kind it is. When you dealing with police, they got motherfuckers that's got like their own shit going on, their own private investigators. These not police. Mm-hmm. They these people that know what the dirty police is doing. So I don't, I can't really, so, I don't really, I don't, I wouldn't. Let's not get it fucked up. I don't up. say, I can't look at it as snitching unless you really going to like, you going down the district. Like you going in they they places like man these police is out here keep fuck like you going in a fucking district doing all that and how that detective talking about police is fucking with you know that's what you got lawyers for yo what I supposed to do to get this fucking police off my back yo mm. he keep boom 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 that's not fucking that ain't snitching. No, I get it I get it no, I'm just don't saying. get it fucked so up that's how people do be having a lot of shit fucked up I got you bro 
Uh, can we get some cups or something? You know what I'm saying? No, nah, we got So you. that's the best way that I can break it down. You feel me? You ain't I, dealing with no police when you trying to get police off your ass. You ain't really, they ain't who you go talk to. You talk to your lawyer and these motherfuckers who on their ass. Believe it or not, right? That was a hard question to ask because I didn't want you to take it wrong. But no, I was no, like, no, no, I got to do my job. But I grew was... up, bro. Like, I, can't, I know how to take I'm like, how the shit, fuck man? am I asking this question? No, no, man. But I, um, I had to ask that question. I had to. Because, uh-huh. like, you, you you know, like, that shit That's happened. That's how I look at now. Like I said, though, like, if you going to, like, you going to put uh, complaints down and shit. If you going to uh, put complaints down, like, two police and shit, like, man, y'all officer doing this and that, you straight on some rat shit. Mm. Yeah, you on some rat shit. Okay. Ain't, ain't no way around that. Like, you want, you going, you niggas going about shit the wrong way, y'all going to go holler at some fucking police and saying, with the police doing it, y'all, yeah, you're a rat. Yo, um, did you finish that that case? Yeah, my yeah, it's, it's Oof. yeah, my case Woo-hoo. it just got done. It's done. Yeah, How many niggas done. in your phone now? <laughs> Don't nobody even know it's done. Nobody we ain't even gonna talk about done. that. But how many? I know the niggas that's, that that do know niggas hit your phone like yo. Uh, I don't even this shit. That's that part probably ain't kicking yet though. Mm. You feel me? You know how it be. Cause, that part ain't kicking. Cause yet. And guess Google what Google. though? I ain't even great laugh about that part, right? And the reason why I ain't gonna laugh, cause you know sometimes the same shit make you laugh, make you cry. Talk I wouldn't me. even wanna laugh about it. then when it's happening. I'm uh, while the niggas out and all that. I'm just trying to just take my time with everything for real. You feel me? And just been learning how to like react to certain shit. You feel me? I mean that case itself is bigger than uh, any record deal. I'm just saying. <laughs> Definitely. Do you need to be signed at this point? No, <laughs> I don't though. If but a nigga like asks you to, if a nigga try to sign you, would you sign? I mean, it depends on what what like type of money we talking and and like you know who it is, like what you know. Who would you sign to if they came with the correct? It's a, it's a few uh, it's a few uh big people though that I like I go to like you who know, uh. I fuck with like I fuck with uh Gotti, mm. fuck with Gucci. Mm. I fuck with you know motherfuckers like who I see you know I know see who I see fee in their team and you know that shit like elevation for a nigga like you going like you winning like you going you winning soon you come through the door. You feel me? It's just like I'm I'm willing to fuck with a motherfucker dropping that bag and you feel me letting the artists just do them for real like. No, on some real nigga shit. I want to say this before we continue, cause you know we got a certain image we trying to uphold. If you listening to this, if you watching this, we in the trenches. We in the middle of the trenches. It, it's hot as shit in here. Police sirens and fucking the, the windows is up. So if you, it sound crazy, just bad with us. Shout out to my nigga, Bo- um, fucking Moose. My nigga Moose came in here. It's hot as shit. The nigga came on time. The nigga waited for me. The nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I just want I want to paint the picture for y'all niggas in case y'all hear it's oh, fuck crazy. Hell, that's the new moose. He's on time. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I just want to let niggas no. know it's hot as shit. This nigga sweating. He's still doing an interview with me. We still, shit, we've been rapping. Nah, so I just want to say I appreciate in a you, dog. trap house is hotter than this, man. Mm-hmm. Like, for real. Question. That's time to heat up a little bit more. Bro, ain't no question. You've been putting on for the city for a long time. Ain't no question. Ain't no question when we name the city's greats. Your name is up there. Ain't yeah, no like, question. How can you not say my name? And I've been saying these certain niggas interviews like, yeah, I ain't trying to say my name. What is because what is I ain't from where you niggas from now. We on sides on who or oh, why right, I ain't from East or I ain't from West. So no, I ain't saying nigga. I didn't. Like, you know how many niggas names I say when I'm in them big houses and big, I'm, I'm, I share them niggas names. You heard me? But I'm saying niggas really try to out me. But it always be, you can't out me. I'm always in them niggas. Somebody going to bring my name up because it's real. Can't out the real man. That shit fake. You, you feel it's, me? It's, so you don't get the respect from the artists. Or what? Uh, no, fact, no, no, no. I ain't gonna say all. Oh, no, I'm not gonna say all. Oh, not even just all. Oh, this is. Yeah, I was about to say niggas here that do exactly. different shit. Do you think you get your respect from the city at all in general? Yeah, I do. I get respect from the city. I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna take it. But you know, you got certain motherfuckers that that just like they used to show love. It's like now they don't show love no more. If you feel they feel though you ain't steaming enough, mm-hmm. they used to say your name. Now they ain't gonna say your name. You feel me? It's like that's just. Let's talk about that. Niggas be hopping on a bandwagon. Right yeah, that's all it is. I, I, Dick sucking ass. Being niggas. on a, I, well, I guess you because you. That. you no, let's talk, that. let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because I feel like you you've been on both sides. Like, because sometimes you'll be, you know, real buzzing, and sometimes you probably be chilling. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about that when 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 you was, but I don't even want to say was. 
when it was times where when it was going was up, flaming up. Yeah. Did you talk, talk to me about those times when niggas was like, yeah, Moose is family, Moose is this nah, and that. I done did, man, I done did, I done did songs with Dan Ed. A lot of niggas who popping now. Mm. Like, I done did songs with them when I was like flaming, flame, flaming up for real. Like niggas wasn't even nowhere near on my level. Mm. But I was thinking bigger for the city. You know what I mean? Once I hooked up with school, there it was like, damn. And then I seen like the attention we was getting. It's like ain't nothing really like that. That shit fucking up. That's just the way for real, right? And it's like a lot of the niggas I done hooked up with don't even call my phone no more. Damn. You know heard I me? Mean? But it's like. I still feel good though, cause like I ain't no fake nigga. I still feel good about what I did. You feel me? I ain't great do what you did. Like I'm still helping Lord niggas in the trenches that I see that really one and got the ambition and trying to like be something. And I still help them Lord niggas out. I fuck around, go on the studio with them, and what not even planning on doing that. Like I saw a nigga really trying, yo. I'm ready to jump on that bitch for real style for yeah. I'm jumping <laughs> on that. You know what I mean? Just little shit like that, cause it's like I'm. Oh. That's me. Like I'm. I, I like helping for real. But I, you know, we be the ones get fucked over. Now I've been learning though, like taking my time. Now I just take my time on who I help and how I help. You feel me? So it's like, cause you don't want to keep getting fucked over, giving everybody your goods, then they eating good and they don't feed you. Chino, even Chino said he was like, man, you know what happened is, I bring the table here, everybody get a plate. They leave with their plate, and then they try to come back when it's gone. Right. It's like, nah, nigga, ain't no U-turns, but right. ain't no seconds. Right. You know what I'm saying? Once you leave, you fuck. Right, like, sit here with me. Yeah, 100%. Right, Yo, yeah. Um, question. So, when 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 Scooter was here, God, God rest his soul, right? Rest in peace up next. When he was here, before y'all came together, do you think a lot of the tension, or not even the tension, do you think the city tried to... Separate y'all and play it to be something else and try to create a beef where it wasn't. Yeah, they did. But it's like, to be honest, like they did do that, but I don't think it was like intentionally though. Either. Mm. You feel me? I don't think it was intentionally. What you though. think it was from? Just being from different sides and just being what the city used to. Mm. I ain't never seen no niggas really link up from east or west that really just had like big shit going on. I'm not saying like it ain't no connections from. East or West or South and all that, but I'm talking about far as music and shit like that, far as that pop and like we was like the big things and for us to like link up, it's like Crazy. like you couldn't like it couldn't go wrong for real. That shit was hard. Yeah, like it couldn't go wrong. So I feel as though like they ain't do it intentionally, you feel me? But that helped us too. Mm. As long as we knew it out here, we wasn't gonna never hurt each other when we seen each other, you heard me? Now, if we were some weak-minded motherfuckers, I could have been thinking, like, damn, yo, what if I see this little nigga, it can't be, you feel me? Like, I wasn't ever thinking like that because I just know it was, like, just talk. Like, you got the older niggas that's round the way, like, yeah, you know that people just stirring shit up because he from West, you from East, and, you know, like, motherfuckers that was keeping that shit, like, comfort, like, yeah, that shit ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even got nothing going on with shorty. Like, we don't got no beef, you feel me? But it had us, like... But it's like neither one of us was like hollering at each other though. You feel me for a minute. And it's like it took for like some older niggas to yo y'all got uh fuck that like whatever. Even if it ain't nothing, y'all agree make it something now mm. for real. So it's like that's what we did. That was hard. That was powerful for the city. Well, yeah. That was fire, nigga. Like that was fire. You got a song with uh school. Yeah, man, school. I got a song with him. And when I came home, he was already dead. But they had like a song that he had, and I jumped on that. So I really got two songs with Scooter. When you heard that, man, what like how how did that make you feel? What you that shit fucked me up. I lost my oldest brother the same year. I lost my oldest brother the same year. I was locked up when Scooter got killed. Then my big brother, like both of them happened like back to back. I was just like, damn, yo, what the fuck? Like that shit, like that shit felt like I died a little bit, mm. like on some real shit. Cause that was like he was on where I'm at. Yeah, that shit felt like I died for real. Like what the. Fuck? Hell no, like that shit hurt me for real. Like, damn, like it hurt me so much. I'm like, damn, I wish I would have spent more time with sure. That was we'd have, we could have been uh, alleviated, whatever we had, you know, whatever people were standing up. Like, that shit just had me thinking about a lot of this shit for real. Bro, you know, it's crazy. Um, I was feeling like that before I moved. Um, and I wasn't even connected to a lot of niggas. I remember when G Songs got killed. Um, I remember when uh, it's just be so many niggas in our city that's popular that get killed. And I don't have to be close to him, but the fact that it's like, yo, we was on a similar level, that could be me. Really that sure. do something to you. It's like, bro, that yeah, shit fucked you I up. That's how I felt, though. Like, oh, 
Why are you bitches? Are, I, I can, I'm cussing on here. And you good? You can cuss here, yeah, nigga. You straight? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it's my bitch, shit. You like, good? You bitches got me fucked up. If y'all, do you hear me? Mm-hmm. Y'all, yeah. I don't think y'all, y'all, y'all ain't taking moose like nothing. Damn. I'm gonna fuck you over if I got to. Fuck it. You hear me? But that shit make you just like you gotta be on your shit. Like motherfuckers that just do something to you out the blue for real. It's like you don't even gotta be doing nothing to nobody. You just gotta be on point out here, like just period. So knowing all the shit that 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 our city is connected to, what what keep you here? Like what make why you ain't just leave or move? Like my main my main thing. Like I left before, so that was like 2017. I was on parole in Atlanta for like a good year. I was on parole down there, and it's like, but like I got a daughter. My daughter six. You feel me? It's like. That shit hard being away from her for a long time. If I ain't locked up, mm. so it's like as long as I got, like I can be down that bitch like working and working and but after like a good two three weeks, I'll be like I'm gonna say two weeks for real. Like especially if I ain't talking to her every day, like that shit be having me like man, I gotta go see my daughter. Like, I be too worried and shit like about my child for That's real. That's some real nigga shit. <laughs> like, I really be worried about my child. Like yeah. yo, like damn yo, I ain't locked up. God forbid, like, I'm not locked up. I got a chance to spend time with my baby because there's been times I done got locked up and missing times out of life. So it was like when I be out of town, they be giving me that feeling a little bit like I'm away from her, but I don't even got to be away from her. So it's like I'm trying to fix my situation with, like, my daughter getting to me when I got to leave, and that should be better for me. Like, I can really do me. You feel me? You said you was in uh, the A in 2017. That's when you was, you, was with, you was locked in with Boosie already. Yeah, yeah. I was when locked you, in with Boosie since like 2015, 14. When that situation happened, right? Talk to me about this. And you started doing your shit with Boosie, you in the A. Do you feel like it was a lot of niggas from your hood or some people from your hood acting like you left them or you left them behind? <clears throat> yeah. How was the reaction? Yeah. But what's crazy, like Boosie had, Boosie had told me, like got me ready for that type shit. Like yo was like at the eye. After we locked in, like when I was leaving on my way back to the city, like he was like sending me like hello text messages and shit, like important shit, like Moose, watch out for this, Moose. You gonna have niggas on this type of shit now, and boom, 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 like big paragraphs and shit. And I really had to take my time, like oh, take my time reading it for real. Mm. And I'm like hell yeah, I wasn't really thinking about that part. You feel me? And it's like he kept it on my mind, so I'm like oh, like he. He struck it in me like I gotta stay on this. As a mentor should. So yeah, so it was like I was on. So even though I had that going on, I knew how to deal with it because he was keeping me on point of it already. How does that make you feel knowing that the niggas you love, the niggas from your city, niggas from your hood, is like you you gotta know you gotta know what come with the game. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. You gotta know what come with the game. Like it's just certain shit that just come with it, regardless. It got to. Mm. You feel me? And it's like, what was the biggest lesson you think you learned from Boosie? That uh. I ain't gonna say, uh, yeah, learning how to, you know, like, everybody ain't your friend type shit, you feel me? Like, hey, you gotta watch niggas, like, no matter what, like, you just gotta watch niggas. You got some people really happy for you and some people really faking like they happy for you, and they not. So, and it's like, I, that's a big thing, but the the main thing that I really learned from them is, like, that hustle. You feel me? Like, that hustle, like, that, nigga work his ass that hustle for real. Like, man, I just been like, yeah, I gotta go get it. Like I said, that's why I say I know what my niggas should be expecting, like being inside my mansion once I get my shit, cause I I be in one. Mm-hmm. Feel me? But my family, my whole family can't come in that bitch. I wouldn't want my whole family in another nigga house. Mm. So that shit motivate me to go get it. Like man, I'm great. I need something like this or probably a little bigger. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just motivation for me to uh, like that shit motivation. So his hustle, like that's what got me. Like that time, his hustle turned my hustle up. I always been a little. Go get a little nigga going to take care of my peoples. But, like, his hustle turned my hustle up. Like, I got to go get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. They even look out. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah. Moose, you that motherfucking nigga, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't, and I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't afraid to say that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I respect, no, nigga, like. No, ain't going to keep that shit real, I don't man. Give a That's fuck, what the bro. world we living How in. How can we? No, no nothing. To, That's the world we living God in. rest his soul. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, bro. Like, we, you and Scooter was on. Y'all was on a similar level, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, we can't. We can't. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could t- give him the phone. We can't, like we can't ignore that. You know what I'm saying? Come right here. And that ain't like nothing. We're not taking away from him because we love him. Like we love Scooter. Real but it's shit. like we can't give him his flowers and not give you your flowers, bro. Like Real y'all talk. was like, 
the biggie yeah, and pop. Wait till, yeah, don't wait till I'm gone. And yeah, blah, blah, blah. exactly. That's what this I'm trying shit, to say. So this shit, man, he's like, like motherfuckers, like it's something wrong with saying that it's somebody that inspires you nowadays. You feel me? Like people are like that's something wrong with saying like shit. No, don't be like niggas don't want to give you your flowers now. And it's like niggas ain't is nothing crazy. wrong with that. Niggas and it's is like, crazy. but that's why I'm glad I am who I am though. And that's why I lasted a long time. These niggas ain't me. Mm. I'm gonna give you your flowers. You heard me? I'm gonna give them to you. You deserve. I'm gonna give them to you. And I ain't gonna be on no shit like. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, I ain't no, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I'm gonna give you your motherfucking flowers because you Straight deserve up. them, bitches. Straight up. I ain't gonna be cutting around the corner before I'm, before I really actually give them to you. Yeah. These niggas crazy, man. Straight up, I yeah. fuck with it, nigga, because like you deserve that shit. I don't give a fuck. You deserve yeah, that shit, shit, bro. You said some shit on um, off the porch, right? And I disagree, but we're gonna talk about. It. Let's talk about it. You said you, eighty seven, nigga said um, eighty seven, yo. Alright. Nigga said, what well, that's a gas? Huh? That's gas? Yeah, them little niggas don't know what kind of gas to put in the pump. Bro. Yo, that's question. A, wait, 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 wait. Before I go I mean to put in the uh the the tank. put in the car. Before bro. before I even before I go in there, right? Before I even go to the question I was about to say. Them niggas crazy. Tell me about bro. this. They fucking my head, bro. They speaking of that, speaking of that, before I go to the question I was about to ask. Hey, my little nigga. Story story has it, right? You probably know I knew this shit. You bought a drop top Audi. Yeah. It has your shit parked. I had that bitch dropped in the winter. The, uh, the snarling and all that. But you had to park in a school bus. Fuck How you know, shit. bro? <laughs> hey, bro. Don't tell me you was driving that bitch now, Jay. <laughs> nigga, <man. laughs> he about to get <laughs> Fuck no, bro. The nigga shit. got up and looked at the chair like, nah. <laughs> No. <laughs> how, how the fuck you know that though, bro? We still on live too. You yeah. still, oh, bro, that's tough. So that's tough. Story has you park your, you park your Audi, right? Fuck the school no, bus. Yo, yo should have kept this off camera, bro. Like you crazy. The, the school bus fucks your shit up. You was looking for that school bus for a day. <laughs> <laughs> I found that bitch though too. I swear to God, I, did. I ain't find the driver. I ain't find the driver. But Don't say what I found did. out where it came from, what company and all that. <laughs> yeah, I was on the ass. That's crazy though. Yeah, I'm assuming you ain't have insurance on your car. I did. I did for real. Like the 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 bus company when I first went there, they were saying they didn't even want my insurance. To get involved, like they were scared for real. You know, I don't know how that shit really worked, but they was like, "No, nah, we'll take care of it." You don't got my no. I'm gonna get lawyers and shit involved. Y'all got somebody hitting my shit and keep going. And and it's like I really buy, and that's bro, this shit crazy. Like by my life being so busy, I let that bitch just. I ain't even keep up like what talking to the insurance people or none of that. I said, "Fuck it." Damn. I be needing shit done like right then and there or like a assistant or something that's, that's gonna how stay I, on top of because I don't get it done within it. that day on a couple of days. I got to keep it moving, man. Fuck it. But yeah, that was my, that was a loss I took too though, bro. That, that shit fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to fuck you up. Back to what I was about to say. So you was on uh, Off the Porch interview, right? And yeah. you was like, in Baltimore, the east side is the worst side. Man, you, man you still ain't tell me how you know that bus hit my <laughs> shit though, bro. Like, I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Right, I do my research, bro. Like, Listen, nah, just I'm, my, fucking with you, I'm a bro, journalist, bro. I'm, I'm fucking my, with you, bro. So look, that you. wasn't me. I wasn't driving. I swear <laughs> to God, bro. I swear. It was a female driving. Oh, no that smoke, bro. I'm fucking with you. But yo, so look, um, you said the East Side was the worst side, bro. I think you're crazy. East Side bad, right? We not about to act like Cherry Hill don't exist, though. Sure. Yeah, the South. Yeah, like the, we I ain't say, the, I say, like, not even the I, South. Not, I mean, not I even say the South. The whole ball, I mean, the whole Baltimore really like job like off the chain. Facts, but it's just like certain times, like them, 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 them. Uh, like how they say, like West get money more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and East, East is just, cruddy for sure. So it's like that that type of shit been said about, like yeah. that shit that been going on before we even came up. Why that's like labeled. Yeah, East is cruddy, labeled. of course. Like that was like way before us. So now it's like shit worse than now. It go on everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that shit that's going on everywhere, like from the South Baltimore. Not saying niggas wasn't getting killed here and there, but East was just like more. You always hear cruddy. the worst, the 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 worst cruddiest shit ever. Facts. You going here from East. But Cherry Hill, bro. Cherry Hill fucked up, bro, too. <laughs> Cherry Hill fucked Cherry up. Cherry Hill was different. Yeah. East is crazy. Don't get it fucked up. Fucked up, boy. Cherry Hill? Oh no, bro. I don't know. Like, I ain't trying to promote no violence or nothing, but no. that shit crazy. Because yeah, it's so Hill. small. You know what I'm saying? Like, five being so small. 
Bro, that like, shit. Like, Hill always been on the chain, though. Too. Like, like the, uh, you know, they had, like, the other project, the VA, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, the it's Virginia the shit, the Virginia uh, project shit before they even um, moved up to the other side of the uh, Cherry Hill for real. That bitch always been on the chain around that way. But, like, he's just, like, he just going to hear, like, the worst cruddiest shit, though, when you really think about it. Like, this oh, shit going on in the cracks down that bitch. Just in the small ass cracks. You don't know what this big shit going on. Yo, but how the fuck aren't you a producer of this new show, bro? Well, Cause you've been telling this story, bro. The uh, the oh yeah, shit. oh oh, you know uh, so the brother D Watton's big bro, he like wrote. I I've been talking to him about that like far as like man, let me tell more of my story. Yeah, like, like you what happened to me? To life. Yeah, like with me and my family. Like, I understand they found out like all right, the investigation what made the police really get on to them polices. Cause somebody OD'd and shit out uh fucking uh Harford County. Okay. So that's what made police really investigate. Say the, the name. Let's say the name. Um uh what's the name? We on this city. We 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 own this city. Yeah, we own this city. So the when the when a person OD'd out Harford County, that's when the when them police out there really got on to let's see what the fuck going on down there, right? <laughs> but I've been putting it out there. It's just like, they ain't, like, we ain't listening to, they heard, they been hearing me, but like, this a little rap, little young nigga from the streets. Mm. You hear me? So yeah. it's like, it took for somebody to die in a little session of, like, it shit been talked about. They know I really, like, I brought that shit to like, yeah. I don't know, I'm the main yeah, the one been, come on, shit. man. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know, bro. That, I don't know, bro. How you feel about the show, though? I, I like this show. I yeah. like this show. But it's like that shit really bigger. This shit big, bro. And it's like this shit can really let's show the people like for let's let's show them for real. Like I mean, it's television though. We can't really. Well, it's not HBO, like so no. I'm talking cool. about like it's more people that and it got hurt like for oh, all yeah. that show and shit. Like y'all gotta get it's, it's it's a bigger story. Facts. That's all I'm saying. Like some more episodes or something. But nah, the facts. shit fire though. Nah, facts. The shout shit out to fire. D for that, though. Shout yeah, out to D-Y. Shout out to D Watts, man. The whole sure. HBO team. The shit yeah. definitely fire. Hundred percent. I just think we should make it more. Let's, let's, let's really go up with it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Let's go right. up some more. How you feeling, dog? Man, I feel great and amazing, bro. Just to be breathing, just to be able to talk and see. I, I thank God for stuff like that now. Yeah. You know, like just to be able to move my hands, move my legs, and, yeah. you know, I'm grateful for man, that. Let's take a shot for that, bro. Can we? Come on, bro. I'm you grateful for that. Shit. Come on, man. Let's take a yeah, shot for that, I'm bullshitting. Man. I don't want to get carried away on our convo. You good, they, nigga. You know, we great, nigga. Bro, but this is one real. of the... Bro, I'm going to tell you right now, it's one of the best conversations I had. Because you're so authentic, you authentically you. Some people get on here, they try to like, they don't really want to say too much because they got the image, you feel me? Right. But like, nah, you, authentically you, bro. Yeah, I'm going to be That's, me, man. Drink to that, My dog. grandmother don't raise me that way. Nah, facts. Me, you 24-7. Yeah, I still, I know we talked about it, but that boosty shit, bro. That shit fire, man, that bro, because he was shit. our godfather, man, not, bro. Man, like, not even only that, I didn't. I really made history when I brought him to the hood. Mm -hmm. I just had Boo all in the trenches, like, you feel me? Like, he done been the hell of trenches, but this our trenches, you feel <laughs> it's me? our trenches, nigga. And it's like the ba Baltimore City love Boo, like, Facts. you feel me? So What's to bring Boo? him down the hill, that was like, that's that was history. What's that your favorite Boosie song? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't just got one, bro. Give me top just... three. Top three? Top three. Ah. Uh... Well, no, I'm Granny Granny. Mm. Um, my next one, it's so many, it's though, so bro. Many. You going to see that's Give so... Give me top three, though. Top you three, though, to. that's tough. What about Set It Off? Set It Off? Yeah, you know, like, that's like an anthem, yeah, that's, but... Yeah, 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 nah, that, nah. That'd be like the anthem, but, yeah, like, you, he got you more, got yeah, some he got shit so where you got to, like, go deep in certain shit that it ain't no club bang. Right. It ain't for the club. It ain't for the radio. So but Set like, It Off wasn't a radio song, though. We can't do that, bro. No, that's why I said for the club yeah, or for but the it radio. Wasn't, it wasn't even a... Like, when, when Boosie, even when he first dropped the uh the Gangsta Grill... Right. He remade it. Right, though. You're right. He redropped them. Some songs is old as shit. Right, right. Right, and right. they turned into that shit for real. Cause really, all, all, a lot of them songs is B side songs for real. Right, and uh, so I fuck with Granny Granny though. You want me to get you a top three? Top Even three. though I know I I fuck around with a head another top three if I really thought it harder. But Granny Granny, if I can't, and um, <coughs> and friends. Mm. 
three for real. That's not bad. That's a well, I mean, that's my top that's three right now for me to really have yeah, to give a, it to you like it's that. It's so many, though. It's, it's hard to do that, though. It's hard. It's hard. It's not, it's not an easy question. That's not an easy question. Now, I fuck with you, Moose. I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. Uh, yo, yo know, great man. conversation, dog. Yo, you know what it is, bro. Yes, sir. Young Moose, Mr. J. Hill. It's a rap. It's hot as a bitch in here. Out of here. Out the mud, nigga. Yeah. yeah.